Hello everyone, Stephanie Corin here. Today we are going to look at what to do if you've had a student transfer from one period of your classes to another in Schoology. So when a student is unenrolled from the original class and then enrolled in the new class, all of the student's grades and work and everything seemingly disappears from the old course that they were in. And then nothing transfers to the new course in Schoology. Um, the second part of that is true. <laughs> Nothing is transferred over, but there are ways to get some of those things back from the old course. So here I have, um, my student was transferred to this course and they were originally in this course. If I go to add members, and then I search for my student's name and re-add them back to the course, all of their grades and everything in the grade book will reappear. So what you can do after that is you can either manually move them over from the old course into the new course, or if you have a bunch of grades and it would be quicker to download a CSV file and then upload one, let's take a look at how to do that. So this one doesn't have very many scores. I'm gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna to go to the grade book. You'd come over to the three dots, the more menu, and we're going to click export. You're going to choose grade book as CSV and click next. And there it downloaded that grade book for me. Once it is downloaded, we will click on it to open it up and we're going to delete any of the students we don't want to export. So all the way, I'm going to delete this North student because they are not in the new class and just click delete. I only want the East students grades. Click save. And then let's go back over to our new course. We're going to click the three dots and click import. And we're going to choose that gradebook export file. and upload file. Good, only my East student um, imported. And we're going to match some of the columns for the gradebook export to what is in the Schoology course. You don't need to worry about the student's name. Um, Schoology is going to map it up with their unique user ID. And then any of these categories or columns you do not need to worry about. The only thing now you need to worry about is your assignment. So if you just go down and match the assignments that are in the new course with the name of that assignment in the old course. So here I have the embedding one. So I'll click and I'll click embedding. And here I have the Egypt map, and I'll do the Egypt map. Here I have the Google slide, so I'm going to do the Google slide. And here I have the technology integration SAMR model. There we go. That is going to go with that. Once you are done, you'll click preview. You'll notice all the assignments and the grades. So I had two grades. For two assignments, the others the, the other the student must not have done yet. And we'll click confirm. All right, so here I am. My Egypt map got uploaded. I'm willing to bet the others are in the ungraded category. There they are. Um, notice those grades did not go in there yet because I had it as the ungraded category. So all I need to do then is go in and um, 
change that category from ungraded to have those appear. And I do that by clicking edit, change from ungraded, and click save. Now if I go back into the gradebook, there it is. My two grades were successfully imported into Schoology. All right, that's a lot of steps to import uh, grades from the CSV. So like I said, it may be quicker for you just to um, add them in yourself manually, but this is another option if you have a lot of grades to import. Let us know if you have any questions.